Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be going over the folder templates feature. Now, first a quick explanation of folder templates. A lot of us tend to reuse the same folder layouts over and over again. The folder templates feature is simply a way to save and reuse those folder layouts, which is a great way to add consistency to our filing system, not to mention the fact that it really speeds up the way we work. Now let's quickly demonstrate how to apply a folder template to a drawer. Now here I have a drawer selected. I want to add a folder layout to this drawer, which is empty at the time being. All I need to do is come here to the Drawers button and select Apply Folder Template. And when I select that, it's going to bring up a list of the folder templates that I have on my system. Now you should already have a few of these because some of these come packaged with File Center. I just select the one that I want. I'm going to use this Tax Matters template right here and click apply and the folders from that template have now shown up here in this drawer I can also apply a folder template to a folder it's not limited to just drawers for example if I select this folder here I can come up to the folders button where I also have the same option apply folder template I select that and this time let's uh, let's put the months in there I click apply and now that folder has been populated with all the folders from that folder template. Now you can also apply a folder template to every single drawer in a cabinet all at once. If you want one cabinet to have a universal folder layout in every single drawer, there's a quick and easy way to do that. Just right click on the cabinet tab at the top and you'll see this first option. Apply folder template to all drawers. If I select that, then I can pick my folder template and when I click Apply, that template is going to show up in every single drawer in the cabinet. Now, I'm not going to do that at the time being, but that's an easy option for you if you need that option. The next obvious question is, how do you go about creating your own custom folder templates? Folder templates are managed right here from the Templates button on the main toolbar. When you click that, you'll see all of your existing folder templates. You can select any of these and edit their layout add more folders to them, rename items in there, remove items from there, whatever you need to do. Or what you're more concerned about at the moment is adding a new folder template. If you click Add, you get this dialog where first you need to give the folder template a unique name. And then you can go about adding folders to your template. Now you'll notice you've got two options here. You've got Add and you've got Add Child. If I click Add Child, it's going to put a folder under the one that's currently selected. If I click Add, it's going to add a folder parallel to the one that's currently selected. So at this point, if I wanted to add a new folder at the top level, I'd need to go back up here and select that and then click Add, and then it's going to give me another one down here. And working in this way, you can go through and quickly build yourself up even a very complex folder structure. Now, maybe an easier way to create folder templates is from an existing drawer. It's very likely that you already have a drawer in your cabinet that's got a folder layout that matches pretty closely the folder template that you want to use. For example, this drawer right here. I've already set up quite a few folders in this drawer, and I'd like to use these folders for a folder template. That's easy to do. If I come here to the Drawers button, I've got an option that says Create Folder Template from Drawer. When I click that, here it brings it up and you can see that it's already populated everything inside of the folder template. All I need to do is give it a name. And if I come up here to my folder templates, there it is. And if I need to now, I can click Edit and I can make any changes I need inside of there. Now, because you're wondering, it is possible to do the same thing from a folder. If I select a folder, for example, this already has some items in it, I can come here to the folders and create folder template from folder. And it's going to create a template out of all of the folders inside of the folder that's currently selected. Now, we often hear the question, what happens 
if I update a folder template, is that going to automatically update all of the drawers that have that template in it? In other words, if I go into one of my folder templates here, and let's say that I uh, rename an item in here or remove an item from there, is that automatically going to update any drawer inside of my cabinet that uses that folder template? And the answer there is no. I mean, all that the folder templates feature does is create folders from a pattern. There is no live active link to that folder template. So if you make a change to your folder template, you're going to have to make that change inside of your drawers. Now, I will say that if you add items to a folder template, then you can reapply that folder template to a drawer, even if it's already been in there, and that's not going to cause any harm at all. What will happen is uh, it will ignore any folders that already exist inside of the drawer, but if you've added new folders inside of your folder template, it'll go ahead and add those to the drawer. So no harm in reapplying a folder template to a drawer where it's already been used in the past. But if you remove items from your folder template, don't expect those items to be removed from your drawer. Now let's show you one more trick so that you can appreciate the power and flexibility of the folder templates feature. Now we have some customers who come to us from time to time and say, at the beginning of each year, we want to start a fresh cabinet with exactly the same layout as our prior cabinet, but no files in it. In other words, we want to archive all of our files, but start the new year with the same cabinet layout without the files. Here's a quick and easy way to do that using the folder templates feature. First, I'm going to right click on the cabinet tab here, and I have an option. Create folder template from cabinet. And what that's going to do is create a folder template that's got all of the drawers and folders and subfolders in the cabinet. You can see here that I've got everything inside of that cabinet, all those clients and all the subfolders that I was using before. I'm going to click OK, and I've now created a folder template out of this cabinet. Now I just need to create a new cabinet. which is going to currently be blank. And now I can apply that folder template to this cabinet. Now that brings us to the second option here. Apply folder template to cabinet. That's different than applying it to all the drawers. When I apply a template to all the drawers, remember that just takes the, the template I selected and puts it in each one of the drawers. This is different. This is going to take a template and use it as the layout for the cabinet. So I'm going to take that template that I just created, click Apply, and there we go. We've now populated an empty cabinet with all the drawers and folders that we need for the new year. So that gives you a taste of how to use the folder templates feature and a lot of the power and flexibility inherent in that feature.